Well, a fantastic day and spontaneous video that this is. The reason why I say that is because we're halfway through the wide body install video of the BMW M4. This is being posted after, but I got an offer on those factory BMW M seats. The guy is actually on his way right now from OKC, he's a couple hours away to come grab them. That being said, if I take the seat out, I don't want to sit on a bucket like I did my last F82. <laughs> I'm talking literal bucket. This was my seat for a little while. Now I got you curious. What seat did you go with? Because last time I went with an NRG seat and I usually go with Brides. The last car is really fast. I just need a seat. So I went ahead and ordered those Prisma seats, which I actually really enjoyed and loved them enough where I didn't even care to get rid of them. But now that we're actually building this car into a full on show car, I was thinking Brides, Recaro Sportsters, or how about a manufacturer that allows you to do something a little bit more custom? Hmm, I wonder if I have your interest yet. What company does custom seats? Three, two, one. We want some status tracing. So status tracing allows you to spec your seat. How cool is that? And I'm not talking just the color or the stitching. I'm talking pretty much start to finish. I'm not gonna tease you any more than that. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you the seat. So I went with a gold status logo with a dark gray Alcantara with a black center. I did the Italian stitching and all his stitching work is done in silver to match the silver stitching on the dash in the door panels. I figured the dark gray would look really good with the OEM cluster. Plus my steering wheel that I bought has a dark gray stripe. So dark gray, dark gray stripe, dark gray seat. Black to match the rest of the interior, silver stitching to match the dash, and the gold, it matches the brakes. The seat has so much character to just match and tie the entire car together. And now, Bailey, what the heck is that? What is Spit & Co? Why is that on your seat? Spit & Co is a company that's actually gonna be sponsoring many videos in the future. They're actually not fully released yet, so more information on that later. And as you could see earlier, I got some black harnesses. I'm not gonna install these today, obviously, because the interior is completely stripped out and I have no roll cage. But I wanted to just go ahead and show you that I do have the harnesses and they are in black. And seats, if you did not know, requires a lot of additional things. First, you'll need your seat brackets. Then you'll need your seat floor mounts, and then you'll need your seat rails. And you will also need to pick up some new hardware because the OEM hardware is a Torx, and you cannot get a Torx bit on the floor mount that you buy for these cars. So you gotta get a hex bolt. I figured since you've already seen me take a seat out in the last video, all right, this is what it looks like on an F82 with it removed. Um, I'll end up tucking this completely underside. And then remember, you need to coat out your airbags now that you have no seat. Or you're going to have an airbag light on. Luckily, the F82 is very coatable. So I'm going to coat out airbags, seat belt, TPMS sensor for the new wheels because they're so wide. I can't do sensors anyways. And also, my windshield washer fluid says it's low. You know, it's completely removed. So I got to coat that out as well. Enough of that. You don't care about that. What you care about are these freaking seats, man. They are so cool. So the first thing we need to do is install the side bracket. Here's what the brackets look like. At first, I didn't think it came with hardware. Turns out the hardware is on the seat. So tip, don't freak out. All right, first thing I need to do is remove this blue wrap. So that take off your bracket bolt one and two. And then go ahead and place your bracket on. The rails can actually be kind of confusing. This part, it bends downwards towards the cushion. This side goes against the seat. It's the top half. Flat side is the bottom half. So if this is here and you're pulling down on the cushion, it's actually releasing it. See that? And that's how that goes. So if you're about to install these, you can take a screenshot of this. So that helps you remember. Now that the seat rail is on, now we want to go to the four bracket, but this is my driver's side one since I'm only installing the driver's side today. And you can tell right here, I have a bracket for my actual OEM seat belt. So we need to take that off of the factory seat. Now I have the seat belt on the four mount and I got the rail on the seat mount. Now we want to marry them together.
the dark gray looks freaking fantastic, man. It's gonna look really good with the blue, the like the Area 51 color that we're painting the car. And I'm gonna lower the seat a little bit. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of micro adjusting. It is hitting the Sarah console, but I might want to final adjust everything once that extra door panel is in because I'm actually quite worried about the seat fitting in general. It looks very, very, very tight, even down there as well. So this seat might not be the best option for this car, but fingers crossed it's gonna work out. I guess it's time to say goodbye to the M4 seats. Once the car is actually built, I'll do a little bit more of a review with the stylish racing seats. The comfort wise, since I'm, I guess, an experienced bucket seat rider, um, I know my energies were really comfortable. I enjoyed a pair of my brides. These, they, they feel a little harder. I'm worried about that four hour drive to Dallas, but let time tell. Today's video is super spontaneous. It was super random. I was actually saving the stylish racing seat video for after paint, like what, months from now, right? Since it was spontaneous, it wasn't very well planned. I hope you guys still enjoyed that though. And as always, keep living life and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, bye.